What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're going to be installing some more kickers for the rear speakers of my 2018 Tacoma. So if you do have a 2016 and up Tacoma, this is the video for you. If you guys did miss my front door speaker install, go ahead and watch that. It will be in the description box below. Alright, so of course, like I had stated in the previous video, I did buy everything on Crutchfield. So what that means is it comes with some free brackets. I'll show you how to install that. You want to go ahead and get a six and a half inch uh, speaker. Another thing that you do need to get, well, you don't need to get it, but it is for a cleaner install. This adapter harness, it just makes it for a plug and play. So as far as tools, you want to go ahead and get a Phillips head, 10 millimeter socket, panel removal tool. I recommend getting the plastic ones. So of course, the install is going to be a little bit similar to the front, but some of the plastics are a little bit different. So so if you want to pay attention to this, go ahead. That way you don't mess nothing up. First thing we're going to do is remove this plastic panel here. Go ahead and get your plastic removal tool. Get it behind there. Kind of pop towards you. It pops just like that. I did it a little bit hard. That's why it flew off. But it pops off easy. Next, you want to go ahead and get your Phillips head and remove the screw that's inside. There's the screw. So we're going to go ahead and move down here. You're going to notice there's a little carpet. You want to go ahead and pull that up. Remove it. And notice there's a little screw in there. That's just a Phillips head. Let's go ahead and remove that. There's the screw. The next step is removing this switch harness, this plastic here. Go ahead and start from the back. Just kind of pop it up. You're going to hear it snap out of place. Try not to tug on it too hard because you could rip the wires. So you're going to notice once you pull it up in this position here, there's going to be a little clip back here. You want to go ahead and push down and pull up the whole panel. And it pops off just like that. The next step, we're going to go ahead and remove this little pin here, plastic pin. Uh, you want to go ahead and get either a flat head or I'm using a Phillips head. And you want to go ahead and go into the center, push in. And you're going to see that pop off just like that. You want to go ahead and work your way through the back and it pops right off. Just try not to lose it, what I just did. So in this next section, you can go ahead and use a panel removal tool. Or what I'm going to be doing is just I'm going to use my bare hands. Start from here. Since there is a little bit of room, you're going to go ahead and squeeze your hand in, remove this top piece. Be really careful because the clips do break easily. So now the top is loose, you're going to hear it pop off and you want to work your way around it. So if you do have a panel removal tool, you can just work your way around it. I just popped it off with my hand. So once I have it in this position here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring it up slowly. Just like that. Once I have it here that it's loose, you want to go ahead and not tug on it. I'll show you why. So the reason I said not to pull it back, as you can tell, the cables are running here, which is for your handle. So you want to go ahead and get your hand and just grab over the plastic and slowly just kind of pop it off. All right, once it pops off, you can just let it hang. So up next, you're going to notice there's a little clip right here connected to the speaker. So you just want to go ahead and push it in, pop right up, just like that, nice and easy. The next step, you want to go ahead and get your 10 millimeter socket. We're going to remove one, two, and three bolts. So now that you removed the three bolts, you want to just go ahead and get the speaker, kind of push up, and it pops right off. So as you can tell, there really ain't no magnet. So let's go ahead and throw this away and put a brand new kicker inside. Up next, we're going to be installing the bracket onto the speaker. You're going to notice there's a couple tabs here, and if you leave those tabs in, the speaker just, it's not going to sit on correctly what we're going to be doing is just basically cutting these little tabs out i'm going to be using this tool here just to chop them off i'll get back to you once i'm done now that i've cut out all the tabs the speaker is going to fit in place nice and easy so as you can tell it's nice and flush so now we're just going to go ahead and tap in the screws and go from there so now that i have the speaker where i know i'm going to be mounting it and putting the screws through you do want to no uh, take note make sure your kicker is of course facing towards the top and you're going to want this facing towards the top as well so you can see the cutout and that's where the wires are going to be ran through all right so the screws that i'm going to be using to mount the speaker onto the bracket I'm going to be using the ones that came inside the kicker box. I'm not going to use the ones that were provided from the brackets. Now that I put the screws onto the bracket, you can get one of your harness adapters and stick it through the hole. Nice and easy. And flip it over, connect it. So of course, this only goes in one way. So the big one, which is your plus, is going to go into the big one on the speaker 
And of course, uh, the black one, which is small, is your negative that's going to connect to the speaker. So before reinstalling it on these specific brackets that did come included, you're going to notice there's a tab here and there's a tab on this side. These two tabs, we are not going to need it, so we're going to go ahead and chop those off. Now that we chopped off the tabs that we're not going to need, let's go ahead and reinstall the bracket. So we want to go ahead and align the holes, get the stock bolts. Once you've installed the three screws back together, the bracket's on there, speaker's on there, it ain't going nowhere, you want to go ahead and reinstall these two uh, plugs. So there's only one way for this to install, you can't mess this up. Go ahead and plug it, nice and done. Before you put your panel back together, you want to go ahead and test it out, make sure it works. Now that we tested it, it sounds freaking awesome. Uh, if you do want to buy it, it is in the description box below. I'm not sponsored by them, just letting you know. Of course, you want to do the same exact process that you do here onto the other side, and it's easy. So let's go ahead and reinstall this just the way we took it off. Time lapse. done like I said just do the same exact process to the opposite side and you'll be done please stay tuned because I will be showing you exactly how to install a subwoofer in the back and a amplifier into the stock radio so if you guys like this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe see you guys next time of all the places I could have gone